I'm Diana Felsone, and this is 4 for 4, four opinions on four entertainment headlines in just four minutes. Tara Reid was photographed looking all kinds of unhealthy and scary skinny. Chris, why can't she pull it together? Well, according to Tara, she has pulled it together, and she was tweeting early this morning at about 2 a.m. I don't know why she's awake at 2 a.m. Oh, you old man. At 9.30. Look at it. Uh, exactly. But she was saying to the tabloids to stop talking about her weight, and she was calling it bullying, which I tend to agree. She's 39. She's not going to look like she's 21 anymore. She, she's skinny, but she says she's a skinny girl. It's time for them to lay off. You know, you're absolutely right, and that's the point of this, is that she seems to be comfortable in her own skin. She mm -hmm. was wearing, you know, the skimpy bikini in public and looked like she was having a lot of fun. Yeah. Let the girl live. The day she's at, at the a beach. Yeah, party. she's mm -hmm. been getting attention for this for a long time, and just you hope she's healthy, mm -hmm. and that's it. She also got attention for... Some guy tattooing her name on his arm. She was with him, but it takes two to tattoo. Well, or three look like what Terry looks like. And so, but I blame him because that is you're going to so put somebody romantic. else's name on your arm. Let's think... focus on Sharknado 3, people. Yes, let's. Sharknado let's. 3, oh we hell no. We should be saying oh hell no to all of the media scrutiny that every celebrity gets about their body weight. Right now yep. we are skinny shaming Tara Reid and we're fat shaming someone else. Stop it. Breach girl. Totally uncool. Mm -hmm. Comedy Central is defending Trevor Noah's jokes about Jews and women. Carly, did you think his tweets were funny? Uh, no. I, this, that sort of humor isn't my personal cup of tea, but the point is, is that they were jokes. Mm -hmm. He's not a politician. He's going to be the host of a comedy central show. People still think that's news, sadly. And you know what? Honestly, there is an element of news to the show, mm -hmm. but the point is, is that he's a comedian and for people to say that Comedy Central needs to pick a new host is going a little bit too far. Yes, comedians push the envelope and sometimes they offend and this, rightfully so, did mm -hmm. offend people, but Comedy Central standing by him, he's defended it and also said that these tweets were old. So I think that we'll just wait and see, let him prove himself once he, get in the, once he gets into the Daily Show chair. Yeah. There's a team of writers. If there. I was Comedy Central, I wouldn't be so worried about how offensive they were, but how bad they were. Oh, yeah, if this so is his bad. level of humor and he's mm -hmm. taking over for Jon Stewart, I mean, he's going to ruin the reputation of that show in six months. I just hope that he's grown a little since he told his I little agree. Joke. When I first found out that Trevor Noah was taking over, I'm like, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. A millennial, someone who's not really known in the comedy <laughs> world. And then yet, plebeian sophomore jokes. Boo, so step it up. He is very cute. All right, Carly, we'll talk about that <laughs> Entertainers are starting to steer clear of Indiana because of its new religious freedom law. Ashley, do you think their boycott will have an impact? I do. I think it'll have an impact because when celebrities take a stance like this, if nothing else, it sends a message. It is a big deal to cancel a tour date. Yeah. That is refunding tickets or what have you. So I think if nothing else, it'll just send a message. I think we'll see more of it. Yeah. I don't think that Wilco it's one of the bands who's... Uh, great band. Yeah, they're a great band. They're not going to play in Indiana next month. Uh, I don't think that's going to change the mind of anybody who is for the law, mm -hmm. but I think that it will affect the bottom line of uh, Indiana, the state as a whole. I'm from Indiana, and I, some of my friends are already uh, getting nervous because a lot of their favorite acts are, are yeah. looks like they might be pulling out. Yeah, you're right, and I agree with Ashley. Um, you know, this is a business story. This is a social story, but this also is a huge entertainment story because of the backlash that you see from Hollywood who's responding to this like something that you know we haven't seen in a very long time and I do think that it sets the stage for mm -hmm. some sort of change because if you do get these high-powered yeah. celebrities that can pump money into your state and they pull it away, that's when change occurs. Right, especially with Indiana. Is this the president? Is this marking something where Arkansas has passed the bill? So are we also going to bark boycott? Boycott Arkansas. Yeah, exactly. A fan was arrested for throwing a banana peel at Dave Chappelle during a stand-up show. Chris, was that going a little bit too far? What happened to tomatoes? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, remember <laughs> the great burlesque thing. days of the twenties? Oh, you come in with your nickel right. and you have too, your tomato. That's two old man comments <laughs> in less than four minutes. Yes. <laughs> I am two for two. Uh -oh. uh, the banana Gotta peel was obvious. It. Got a racial connotation. Not a cool thing to do. No. He should have been kicked out, and he was arrested. That might have been a little too. Far. And his reason for throwing the banana was. Week, he said he claimed that uh, Dave Chappelle heckled one of his friends who mm -hmm. was sitting at the show and watching it. That's um, a comedy me. show. Yes. <laughs> that is called crowd work, and I'm glad that you're arrested. Crowd work. Go to her. jail. <laughs> right. And, and he's playing in jail. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You could leave. You could voice the complaint if you wanted to. Voice but I don't know. But honestly, throwing something, yes. And if the law there says this is a misdemeanor disorderly con conduct, then yes, he should have been arrested. 
I agree with you too. I think that it was ridiculous. But my question is, who brings a banana to a comedy yeah, show? Nice what was the question. reasoning behind this? Was he hypoglycemic? I just want to see this guy's bedroom floor when he watches a show he doesn't like. Banana peel one, banana peel two. <laughs> What's up? All right, finally, we give you our tweet of the week from last week's show about the fake story of a woman in love with the tree. It was probably one of the best classic love stories ever. <laughs> At J Lawrence 59 says, was it a good looking tree? Hashtag just saying, hey, you know what? You're right. That's a good point. <laughs> it was a good looking so tree. So keep sending your tweets and maybe we'll read yours next week. See you then.